King, presented by Lee Kossel and Feigley, Attorneys at Law. Jen King joins us live from the NASDAQ in New York. And Jane, some health care companies are running into financial problems. Yes, Scott Hannah. So U.S. healthcare bankruptcies are soaring as their costs mount. There's been close to five-fold increase in large healthcare companies filing for Chapter 11 last year. Now, they had lots of costs in the past couple of years as procedures that were put off during the pandemic resumed and insurance, insurance didn't always pay for all of those. Well, social media companies sending more notifications because people are posting and interacting less on social media. They've risen on nearly every major social media app since July according to the app analytics for Measure Protocol. And the Wall Street Journal says Instagram saw the sharpest increase with users <clears throat> getting 12 more notifications in January compared to July. Well, the average rate on a 30-year mortgage hit 7.04% on Monday, according to Mortgage News Daily. With the all-important spring housing market closing in, these rates are getting even more closely watched. Now, according to Zillow in Indiana, the average home value is 233000 and that's up 3% in the past year. Well, we just got earnings from Lilly, and uh, the company beat expectations. Monjaro, uh, that's Zepbound, also, uh, Monjar, the diabetes drug, Zipbound, same drug, but for weight loss, brought in $2.2 billion in revenue just for the quarter. So uh, Lilly now a $700 billion drug company, the largest in the world. The stock's up 116% over the past year, been one of the best performing stocks over the past year. The S&P and Dow down yesterday, and we're looking a little bit lower this morning as well. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Jane, there's always a lot of superstitions when it comes to sports, but with the Super Bowl <laughs> coming up yes foods involved in superstitions now even around food so burgers chicken wings hot dogs are considered good luck game day foods while deviled eggs and garlic bread are deemed bad omens this is according to a poll of sports fans and it found 44 percent do have some kind of food focused superstition 85 percent say they only eat certain dishes on game day now this study was done by the brioche brand saint pierre in one poll and it found that even wider superstitions 79 percent of people have some strict rituals ahead of a game to help improve chances for a good result. You know, candidly, I thought I'd come up with all the different ways I could worry, but now apparently I have to worry if my garlic bread is going to make my team lose. This is just bizarre. I have no garlic well, bread. Well, I love you. deviled eggs. Look, don't touch my deviled eggs, okay? I'm yes. that guy. Somebody needs to eat these. Okay, I'll Yeah, don't don't mess with the snacks. This takes it too far.